In the news, Hitchi's experience in Anabra governorship polls might affect the conduct of 2023 polls, CSO. Togo security forces repel possible militant attack near Burkina Faso border. LA judge and Britney Spears' 13-year conservatorship. Details shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital voice for an African news network. I am Abigail Okmade and this is TOS News 360. A North Carolina man wrongly convicted of murder and imprisoned for 26 years has been granted a full pardon by the governor. He was convicted on a first-degree murder charge over the killing of George Radcliffe. Months after the trial, a teenage eyewitness for the state recounted her testimony. Dante Sharp fought to prove his innocence since his 1994 arrest. He was released from prison in August of 2019. With the full pardon, Dante Sharp will be able to file a request for compensation from the state. And in Nigeria, a civil society organization says that the difficulties experienced in the recent Anambra governorship elections may affect the conduct of 2023 general elections. The Center for Democracy and Development in a report on the election noted that the increase in security challenges and glitches experienced with the bimodal voter accreditation system raised concerns on the need for extensive preparation and training before using the technology for the general elections. The CSO calls on the federal government to take urgent measures to address worsening insecurity in the build-up to the 2023 elections, as this has clear implications on voter turnout, it said. Now to developments across Africa. Seven police officers were killed and five more were wounded in northern Burkina Faso on Friday morning by unidentified gunmen, the government said in a statement. The statement says the officers were attacked while on a security mission near Alcoma between the towns of Dori and Eskane in the far north Sahel region. Such operations are underway to track down the assailants, the statement says. Now the United Nations has extended its peacekeeping mission in the Central African Republic that was established in 2014 as the United States called on Russia to investigate accusations of abuse by Russian contractors in the country. Russian instructors and Central African Republic troops are accused by the UN experts of targeting civilians with excessive force, indiscriminate killings, occupation of schools and large-scale looting. The Kremlin has denied the accusations. Russia has sent hundreds of military instructors to the Gold and diamond rich country of 4.7 million people mad in violence to train the army, police, and national gendarmerie. The government of Togo on Friday says its security forces were repelled in an attack this week by unidentified armed men which had crossed its northern border with Burkina Faso. It is the first possible spillover of Islamic militant violence in the West African country. According to the government, the attackers targeted a security outpost in Banjel Prefecture overnight on Tuesday and were pushed back into Burkina Faso. There were no Togolese casualties. President Faure Nasingbe instructed the government to continue investing Thus, investing in the security forces to strengthen the capabilities of the Togolese army. This is your digital force for an African news network, TOS Television. You are watching TOS News 360, more African stories plus global business and entertainment stories when we return to stay with us. <music> Thank you for staying with us. South Sudan's finance and interior ministers were fired by President Salva Kiir late on Friday without explanation for the changes State Television and his press secretary announced. Kiir replaced Finance Minister Athien Ding Athien with Agak Achi Luwal and Interior Minister Paul Mayom Akek with Mamou Tolomon Aguk. Kiir's press secretary Ateni Wek says the changes would not affect the functioning of the government. Another global scene. Negotiators took the UN climate talks in Scotland into an extra day on Saturday after two long weeks of wrangling to try to agree a deal that would give the world a realistic shot at avoiding the worst effects of global warming. The meeting's principal aim is to keep within reach the 2015 Paris Agreement target to cap global warming at 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Scientists say that to go beyond that limit will unleash extreme sea level rise and catastrophic weather extremes, 
including crippling droughts, monstrous storms and wildfires worse than those the world is already suffering. And in business, the federal government of Nigeria has hinted that it may explore an out-of-court solution to the lingering legal battle between the Federal Inland Revenue Service and Rivers and Lagos states over the collecting authority of value-added tax VATs. On August 9, the Federal High Court City in Portacourt, River State, ruled that River State, not the FIRA, should be the authority collecting VAT and personal income tax in the state. Lagos State, on the other hand, whose request for joinder as a respondent in the suit before the Court of Appeal was also granted by the court, also enacted its own VAT law. The governor Babajide Sonwolu signed the bill into law on September 10. Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari departs Paris to South Africa for the Intra-African Trade Fair. Femi, Femi Adeshino, the special advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, announced on Saturday in a statement. The second Intra-African Trade Fair 2021 takes place from Monday, November 15 to Sunday, November 21. The theme of the fair, Building Bridges for a Successful After, aims at boosting trade and investment across the African continent. The President is expected back in Nigeria on Tuesday, November 16. And on the entertainment scene, a judge in Los Angeles on Friday ended the conservatorship set up by Britney Spears' father in 2008 with immediate effect. Britney describes the termination as the best day ever. The conservatorship put in place because of concerns about Britney's mental health, had power over her finances, career decisions and personal life choices. As part of the ruling, Judge Penny says an accountant who served as a temporary conservator should retain some powers to settle ongoing financial issues. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital force for an African news network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Do follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube to stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Abigail Lukwade. Thanks for watching.